Okay, seriously guys, only 2,000 followers. So make sure you go give him some support and give him a follow because he has sent in one of his images for us to edit with. So show him some love. Finberg man in the description, check him out. And as we come down, we can see his images are really well edited. He's got a lot of shadows and reasonably bright whites there. And the colors are quite natural. Leans towards a blue and a green there. As you can see, that image there is very blue. And yeah, I really like this. He has sent us one of his drone images to edit. So let's see what we can do. So as you can see, we've got his image from his Instagram over here and we've got the unedited flat looking image here on the right. So what I've already done is cropped it, just trimmed off the edges. I think he wants to really focus on the center island here. So this was taken on DGI Mavic and the first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the contrast just a little. Highlights, I'm gonna bring up a lot. It's quite a darkish image that it was taken at. So we're gonna to have to bring up a few things. Bring up those whites a bit. Drop these blacks. So that gave us quite a bit of contrast. Clarity. Now here's a very soft looking image. And keep in mind, this is a screenshot off Instagram, so it's going to look very soft than it really is. So, I mean, to match it up right now, to look exactly the same right now, we have to drop it all the way down to 25. But I might just put that at 20. I might even bring it up to 15. And tone curve. Just a little bit of a fade. So, coming down, what we forgot to do is profile corrections. You want to do that before editing, but it didn't do a lot. I think it just warped it a bit. Coming up. Now we'll work on some colors. I'm going to Brighten up a few of these colors. So these reds. It's quite dark, so. And that yellow. Greens. And you can see this is the aqua around here, so you can tell it's really bright. Blues. About there. Okay, so I'm going to do some hue now. And we're matching up the colors with the other photo. And it's tricky if your images are way too saturated. It's hard to match it up. So you'll be doing a lot of back and forwards, back and forwards. Uh, uh, aquas. Bring it down quite a bit. Now onto our hues because it's going to be a bit easier to match up now. I usually do hues first, but in this occasion, I think it helped to just desaturate a few things. So here, yeah, the yellows are really affecting the greens. And the greens can stay there. So, 
aquas, light blue or purple. Gonna make them a little more on that light blue side. And same with our blues. Gonna shift them a little towards the purple side. And coming down, see if we got everything right up here. Maybe, I think we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna come to split toning. So like I said before, I think his images are kind of blue. So I am going to put a bit of blue in the highlights. Quite a dark blue, so not a teal. As you can see, that, that sand is quite warm. A bit in the highlights is really going to cool that off. And I think we are about done. Just going to double check. I don't think we need any veneering, any grain, no dehaze. Clarity. If I'm trying to match up my image to his right now, I'll be going for about 25. But because because we know his has been softened, because Instagram compresses things and stuff, we've lost a bit of quality. So let's look at our before and after. Before and after. So that's about it guys, thanks for watching, quick one today, yeah leave a like, leave a comment, if you guys are liking these leave suggestions on who I should do these videos on, and yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.